name is Irina Raiku. We are at the Markla Center for Applied Ethics at Santa Clara University, and we are speaking with Father Michael McFarland, who is both a Jesuit priest and a computer scientist who has long had an interest in the intersection between technology and ethics. Um, Father McFarland also served as a consultant at AT&T Bell Labs and taught computer science at Boston College and Gonzaga University. Uh, we wanted to ask him his thoughts about engineering and ethics. Father McFarland, could you tell us a little bit more about your background and about how you became interested in both engineering and ethics, which some would see as very different fields of study? Uh, thank you. Yes, uh, I always like to make things. My father was an engineer. He would bring home parts from work and I would assemble radios and other electronic devices even as a young child. And on the other side, I, I loved science. I, I loved discovering things and I loved being able to take a very complex and seemingly random situation and finding underlying order that helped you to understand and, and predict it. On the other hand, uh, I think uh, this is my Jesuit education, I, I was always led to ask about the deeper purpose of things and how they affect us in our human lives. And so I was drawn also to ethics. So when I went to graduate school uh, and studied engineering at Carnegie Mellon and then at Bell Labs, I was always asking about the purpose for what we were doing and how it, it would affect people's lives. And that got me into ethics, which I further pursued when I was studying theology. And you have a PhD in electrical engineering. As I well do. As that, right? Yes. How do you see engineering and ethics fitting together then? Well, engineers are professionals. Uh, they're expected to make professional decisions, and the decisions they make affect people's lives. And so they really need to integrate the, the technical side, making sure that it works uh, according to the best science uh, that we have, but at the same time they have to ask deeper questions of, about its impact. They have to think about safety, about usability, about whether it enhances people's abilities or undermines them or takes away from them, how it builds community, the, the impact on the environment, affordability and cost and access for different people. All of those are part of an engineer's decision making if they're a good engineer. Uh, at the same time on the, on the operational end, I think there is an overlap. Uh, ethics is not just what you feel or, or what you, you think or somebody told you. It's a discipline in itself the same way any branch of engineering is. It has its own methodology, different from engineering, but in its own way just as rigorous. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, for any ethical issue you, you have a formula that you can just plug in the parameters and get an answer, but that's not true in engineering either. There's always a need for human judgment. So should engineers study ethics or just consider those issues? I think it's important that engineers, to develop themselves professionally and to be effective, and to uh, have a positive impact in, in our communities, they have to know the, the parameters of ethical decision making. So they have to be able to look at a problem, frame the human issues, the ethical issues, as well as the technical issues. They have to understand the relevant principles, to think about the stakeholders who's affected by this, uh, and then to, f uh, to be able to formulate the right questions, to make the correct judgments and trade-offs, and then to put them into action. And that needs a certain level of training and discipline. Do you think um, that engineering students or engineers in general um, have some misconceptions about ethics? Well, I, I think there is a feeling that it's very fuzzy and, and mushy, and uh, they're not always comfortable with that, the kind of people that go into engineering. But I. I think, as I said, they, they have to learn that there's a real rigor to it. It's a different way of thinking about it, but I, I think as true professionals, they need to broaden their perspectives to take those, uh, those factors into, into uh, account. Just to close, I, I, I just want to say that I, for many, many years, I taught a course on ethics and computers, both at Boston College and at Gonzaga. And I can't tell you how many of my former students have come back 
sometimes years later and said, you know, I was interested in the course, but I never thought it would be useful. But now that I'm in the professional world, I use it every day. Thank you so much. We appreciate you talking to us. Yeah, thank you.